The Warriors will start Hayes with Allery, Korzak up front, Hunt and Water on the back end, Pierce, Koron, and Knackbauer up front for the Raiders. As our attention comes to center ice, pucks drop, we're underway here at the Brand Center in Regina. The Raiders control off the opening faceoff, looking to come out of their zone. Aquilon on the near boards, jams it in the neutral zone. Too far for his forwards, and the Warriors will pick it up. Max Warner, far Saskatchewan bus lines opening period. Not just the bus shop, quality mechanical repairs from the team you know. Neutral zone drop. Korzak comes out of the pile, dangles around one, gets across another. Backhand that goes glove side wide. Here's Warner from the right line. Down into the corner looking for Korzak. The pass is a bit too far. It comes up the near side boards, and the Raiders will move it out. Damon Hunts. On the near side, flips in, knocked down by Aquilon. The 19-year-old from Kelowna takes his time. Scoots it on the left wing. Michael Horan will get around King and then bat that puck in. A minute 20 into the contest. Raiders with lots of speed coming inside the Moose Jaw zone. Good forward check. Defensive zone draw, one by Korzak. Back out there with Alry. And Hayes, Jordan King defensively on the Moose boards. King roughed up by Vitelli. He's out there with Herman and Wiseblatt. Left point, Goldsmith, slap shot, save made by Merwald. Rebound, and King will play it up the glass. It gets around the defense. Cole Jordan reversing it to the far left boards. Mo high on the wall, trying to look low. Corey King steps in front, up to the forward. Riley Crane gets the center. He'll toss it in. Five and a half gone. Here in your South Saskatchewan bus lines opening period. It's 1-0 Prince Albert. Alry, Korzak, and Hayes back out on the ice. The Raiders just played inside. Miller, short pass Korzak, looking rink wide, trying to find Alry. That bouncing puck goes over his stick. Nice play by Link later to finally clear it out. Lucas Brenton. The rider Korzak comes in on the left wing, trying to come off the wall. Alry, now bike from your local Canadian tire. Janelle tries the wrap around. Carter Sarienko at 6-4. Just plants and moves across. Holds his left post. Does a nice job there. Good battle. Yanko, he looked behind him. As he did a nice job squeezing. I believe might have been sneaking but underneath the right arm. Braden Yeager's got a shot at his off wing. That's his right wing over there on the right side, rather. Jog in the right circle. Raiders win this one. Aqualon. Didn't get all that rim around. It's held in by Jordan. Right boards, Jaeger. Pressured by two Raiders. Again, unable to clear. Jordan walks the line. Left circle, Allry. Pressured, comes down low, Calvert. Back up the boards, Allry to the point, Jordan. Right circle, Jaeger. Back to Jordan at the line. Holds. Back to Allry, or rather to Jaeger. Cross ice for Allry on the left wall. 30 seconds to go here on the Canadian Tire power play. And the Raiders, Knackbauer will finally... Bounce it all the way down the ice. It's stuck on the back of the nets. Merwald will knock it loose. Cole Jordan comes breaking out. Alry avoids it. For 92 seconds, and then the Warriors will go on to their second Canadian Tire power play. Trailing 1-0, 9.5 to go here in this opening period. Korzak, Alry, Warner, and I believe that's Hunt down there. Left circle draw, Raiders zone. Puck comes in front of the Prince Albert net. Aquilon will play it around. Spencer Rowe, far boards for the Raiders. Down low. Alry gets a stick on it, trying a centering pass. Ryder Korzak got into the lane. The Raiders get it back. Mo chips in the far left wing. Sorry, that's Horon that chipped down the far boards. Warner closing that gap, plays the puck around the Warrior boards. Up ahead, Alry. On the right wing, Water jumping up in the rush. He'll break in. Water trying to get inside, trying to lift it short side high, and he drifts it over top of the nets. Puck comes off the glass and back out. Max Water's got some offensive ability, that's for sure. Playing with the under 18 Warriors last year, five goals, 22 points. It was an all star at the Max tournament last year. Far left wing. Calvert throws it towards the net. It will go off the right pad of Sarienko and Riley Crane's driving hard, stick on the ice. Knocks in his third global egg risk solution goal of the season. And the Warriors tied up at 12.55. Atlee Calvert should get the primary assist. He had five points in his last nine games. Pretty good for a first year player. He's now got six in his last 10. 
Need to respond though. Keep the momentum going. Bouncing puck along the Warrior boards. Doug Free. Raiders trying to come inside. That's off a skate. Eric Ulry circling back. Trying to protect this puck. Out there with Korzak and Hayes. Fought across center. And then lifted in. Hayes on the forecheck. Bumping with Goldsmith. Fonstad's from Estevan. His principal, Pat Janot. Tanner Janot's dad. All those guys from down south though. Attending Estevan. Pat Janot, their principal. Face off just outside the Warrior line. Korzak, Alry, and Hayes with Warner and Hunt. The Raiders will counter with Vitelli, Weisblatt, and Herman. Warriors control off the face off. Hunt on the near left wing. At center, Korzak, backhand flip, right corner. Hayes in the forecheck. Moves it back to the right half wall. Trying to come off the boards was Korzak. The Raiders again, two bodies there, they get control. They'll feed Weisblatt here on the near right wing. Who will move across ice, left wing, Vitelli. Trying to settle a bouncing puck on its touch on a high stick by Furcus. And the whistle goes at face off. And we'll stay inside the boost jaw zone. That's good late pressure. Good late pressure. How about Ryder Korzak digging away on top? Tate Popple digging away on top of that crease. Hard areas. Got to get there. Pay the price to score against a good defensive team like Prince Albert. Change up. Hayes, Calvert, Alry, Hater on the left side. <laughs> and then go all the way over the glass on the far right side. That was Herman. Whoa. He wore that one hard. And you know what? That's the way the Prince Albert Raiders play. Hard. When they score first. The other side of it, Ushja, 4-6-1. and one. But the opposition scores first. The Raiders 2-7 and seven for the opposition scores first. So the Raiders more comfortable when they get the game's first goal. And the Warriors have won more games when the opposition scores the game's first goal. It's different. Very different, as a matter of fact. Hayes, Korzak, and Alry with Miller and Brenton for the Warriors. Nackbauer, Horan, and is that Pierce, I believe it is, for the Raiders as we're underway in this second period of play. Raiders control. Trying to come out of the zone. Aqualon, far right wing. Pierce snaps it in. Raiders going right to left on the dial. The Warriors left to right on your dial. Bouncing puck behind the nets. Raiders on the Warrior right half wall. They spin it wide of uh, Brett Merwalt. Comes off the wall and back out of the neutral zone. Goldsmith back at his own blue line. Short pass at Knackbauer. Cross ice. Aquilar back to Goldsmith and he'll look north. Turns it over though. Right to Eric. Raiders across center as they dump it in. Cole Jordan. 17 years old, turns 20 in September. He's got that late birthday, and a lot of NHL scouts have been impressed with him so far. Tapped out by the Warriors, Runky, Janelle, and Hoekstra. Here's Runky, steals. That far shot goes off a of shin pad. Three and a half minutes gone here in your South Saskatchewan bus line, second period in a 1-1 hockey game. Hoekstra staying on the attack as the Raiders will flip it up ahead. It's off the stick of Mo. He'll now head off on a change. Warriors getting changes as well. Korzak along with Hayes coming out. Not clean to the neutral. One-timer save made. Rebound. They score. Tate Popple will put in that backhand. And the Warriors will score their eighth five-on-three power play goal of the season. As Popple jams away on the side of the Prince Albert net. That shot came up from the blue line by Janelle. The quick one-timer. Sarienko made the save. That's a nice job there. But the numbers game comes into effect as Tate Popple uncovered on the side of that and he gets his stick on it popple will score his sixth global egg risk solution goal comes on a five on three power play warriors remain on the man advantage Jagger, look at him stick candle in Controls, then goes cross ice. Alry, Jordan, Calvert, and Hayes. Jagger, right circle. Shot blocked by Gislason. Right board, still 107 remaining here on this Canadian tire power play for the Warriors. As he gets a piece of that puck, knocking in his second global egg risk solution goal. It'll come at 10-20. Max Warner will get the primary assist. Nice shot there. 
by Max Lowe into traffic. Josh Holmstra is going to score a lot of goals in those areas. Cade Runke was in there as well, as was Atlee Calvert. The Warriors are digging away in some of those dirty areas, and that's what you got to do. They got guys that score those dirty ones, and those are the ones that you love to see. Here's Runke, Alry, and Janelle. Near right, Raider corner. 20 with his second goal. Korzak, Alry, and Hayes now on the line change. Jordan and King on the back end. Warriors have it off the draw. Jordan from the left side will cross ice dump it to the right Raider corner. And it's blown down by the officials. Back DDK pet referee blowing that one down. Warriors. We're offside by the looks of it. Pretty close. Korzak, Alry, and Hayes staying out. Without Vitelli or Weisblatt over there? Tough to see for me from the distance across the ice. It's Weisblatt and another Raider. And while I have the time, I know she's listening back at Moose Jaw. I want to say happy birthday to my daughter, Hannah. First time that I've missed her birthday. But because of the hub, Dad's here in Regina. Her present, a shopping spree from Dad. So I got to make money, right? And I got to make money being here at the at the hub calling games. Oh, what a play by Giz Lawson. Tate Popple was looking for a second. That puck was in the air, looking to go over the goal line. And then Warner ridden hard into the boards after the play. Comes up the far left side. Jagger and Ferkus. Still down low. Raiders trying to come three soft in the Prince Albert zone for the Warriors. Look at the Simpson seat shots are 27-15 for Moose Jaw. 13-7 for the Warriors in the period. Right wall. Hayes takes the pass. That shot. Bad save. Rebound. They score. Eric Alry from the bottom right circle puts it on net. It goes off the inside, I believe, of Sarienko's right leg. And Sarienko actually puts it into the net. For Alry, it's his team leading 10th Global Egg Risk Solution goal. They make the feed to him. We'll fix it up. Max Wanner's got an assist here in the hockey game. Took the shot from the Raider blue line that Josh Holkstra deflected at 10-20. The second period of play. Right circle draw again. Jaeger, Furcus, and Janelle. Wanner and Hunt. Warriors trying to go straight ahead. Raiders break it up. Now they'll play left corner. Wiseblatt trying to find some room. Knocked by Jaeger, but keeps the puck on the attack. Another hit there. Wanner rubbing out. Wiseblatt, the response you heard was from the Moose Jaw bench. Up ahead, Furcus takes that pass. Damon Hunt was trying to join the rush. The puck comes out. Korzak brings it in offside. Prince Albert has shown a lot of fights here in this South Saskatchewan bus line's third period. Eight Simpson seat shots. The Warriors have not put one on net. I think this is hungry, desperate hockey you're seeing from the Raiders trying to fight back into the hockey game. Korzak, Alry, and Hayes with Jordan and King for the Warriors. LaVenture, Culling. And Mo for the Raiders. LaVenture was, he was picking something up. In the but Tate Popple might have been cut open on it. He goes and sees athletic therapist Brooke Kozlowski. Tate Popple, 20 years old, from Brandon, Manitoba. Adam McNutt, the youngster, 17-year-old from Saskatoon, but he's got a big size. McNutt pretty tough. I think they both landed a couple of good shots. You know what, everybody is watching the big Jake Paul boxing fight or the extravaganza that was on the weekend. Maybe that got the guys going. Who knows? I don't know. Separated from the puck. Runke plays it around. Jordan up ahead of Hoekstra. Near left wing. Chips on the wall. Couldn't get around Giz Lawson, who reached back and took the momentum away from Hoekstra. And it's blown on the offside against Moose Jaw. 4.48 remaining. 
Next up for the Warriors, again, a Wednesday night matchup against the Winnipeg Ice. All the action on Country 100, starting with our Western Lumber pregame show at 7.40. Then on Friday night, they'll take on the Regina Pats. And he finishes the drive with an amazing goal going cross-ice over the glove of Carter Sarienko. Oh, my, oh, my. Get the highlight reel out. Jaeger burns past that Raider defenseman and then goes far side past the glove of Sarienko. Wow, was that a goal by Braden Jaeger. He's 15 years old, fans. Whoa, and it was Hoekstra with the chip. And then Jaeger just pounces on that puck. It's his seventh Global Egg Risk Solution goal of the season. What a play. <laughs> wow, wow. That is an amazing goal by Braden Yeager. Josh Hoekstra picks up the primary assist. It's his first multi-point game. Congratulations to him.